Yo, what's up everyone? Colby Cheese here and uh, today I wanted to show you a little bit um, about my workflow and how I organize my week and get things done and uh, I've been working on it for a while now for the past couple months I kind of like write down everything that I do and I'm continually iterating on it so I mean just recently I've already kind of improved this process a little bit one month from now I may have this completely different and maybe I'll show it off again but I, I'm always talking to people about the stuff that I'm doing to organize and uh, I just haven't been able to show anyone yet so I was like what the heck I'm going to go ahead and make a quick video and kind of give you an idea of of a really cool way to, to maybe organize your week. You can get some stuff out of this. You don't have to copy everything that I'm doing, but it's working for me. So let's check it out here. Um, so first off, the, the main thing for me, this, uh, this right here is called Kanban Flow. And this is my productivity board. It uses the Pomodoro timer, which allows you to um, chunk your tasks into 25 minute segments. Now I'm really like super ADD and I get distracted extremely easy. So in order for me to stay productive, I have to really focus on a task. And this is extremely useful for anyone, honestly. You can read the book um, about Pomodoro. I'd have to look it up, but you can Google it and find it. Uh, essentially, it's just do task 25 minutes, take a five minute break. Every four, you take a 15 minute break. And in general, if you're doing like really focused work, most people can get about eight maybe nine if they're lucky, Pomodoros of like really hardcore focused productivity and after that it's like all you can really pull off is like busy work and stuff like that. But anyways, that's, that's kind of what's been true for me as well. And uh, so today you can see I've done a couple things, I've, I've written a few articles and uh, this past week has been super productive because of the lack of sleep. So I'm working on that and I'll show you guys kind of how I uh, keep track of the things that are working and what is not working for me in a little bit. But uh, overall, let's take a look at, uh, at the Kanban board here. As you can see, it's it's got everything kind of like color coded and this is all customizable. I did this all myself. Uh, I first started off by putting a bunch of columns where it was just like days of the week and I tried to put stuff in there. Didn't really like that, that didn't work out. So I'm doing more of like an agile process in a sense, I guess. This is what works for me though. I like to see what's in progress, so what I'm currently focusing on. And uh, and then, you know, obviously I've got like in progress and then current focus items. So in progress is like, all right, this is the stuff I'm trying to get done, you know, today or in the next two days or whatever. And then current focus items is just like a prioritized list uh, here's all the stuff that is like my current focus for the next week or the next month and then eventually I just put stuff over there that you know it's not super important right now but I'd like to get to it uh, eventually. Now this board I've actually uh, condensed down a dr drastic amount and the reason for that is I used to have like every possible thing listed out for every project and what I've now done is I've actually broken out a lot of this stuff into various sections so um, so for example you'll see all these tabs up here I've got all these different Trello boards in addition to Kanban flows. So for example, I have this project that I'm working on called Meteor Money. And if I want to go figure out what all the tasks for that is, I have a pretty similar setup here. I've got stuff that I'm currently working on. I've got like another backlog. Again, this is just, uh, rather than saying, oh, this is what I need to do each day, I just have like a prioritized list of here's what's next uh, in importance. And then like the eventually list, I don't know, I'll call it, I, I haven't <laughs> figured out a name that I like to use wish list, eventually, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've got one for my website here. I've got one for what I want to learn. This is actually a pretty important one, I think, because there's so much stuff, especially as a web developer or any programmer or anything, really. If you want to learn things, um, there's so many different resources out there and it's easy to get distracted. So what I do is I, I kind of try to prioritize what I want to learn. If I see a new article that I, uh, you know, someone links me, in fact, just today, someone linked me this really cool Thing called it become a social developer and I was like oh I want to learn that and I was trying to think okay when do I want to do it after I read this book probably because I'm already in the middle of this book so let me finish that book and what I do is I, I just bookmark everything that I think I'm gonna want to get to rather than wasting my time reading it right then so I've got further reading here uh, I'll you know every once a week or however soon I want to do it whenever I feel like learning something I'll go through that list and I'll either delete stuff that I decide eh, maybe it's not so important or I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go through it but only if it's like priority to me. So you'll see all this stuff that I'm trying to get through. And uh, so I've got, so that's what I've kind of done. I've kind of broken it out. I've got little orange sections or my like big categories that encompass like a bunch of stuff. And then when I start working, I'll create like a new task. And uh, so I've got things organized for me the way I like it. Like blue stuff is me learning things. The teal here is, is product creation. Um, you know, I've got just like small tasks that I need to do here. And uh, so anyways, it works out really well. So now a lot of this stuff, 
is all going to be coming from my main focus for the week. So let me jump over to my um, my Vim. I like to do everything in Vim. I'm, I'm such a Vim fanboy now. I, I love editing in it. In fact, it has this really cool feature called the Vim Wiki. And so I've been making use of this. It's, it's not super organized yet, but I am getting into it and uh, making use of it and it's getting better and better. So right now you can see this is my index here and it's just got links to various things. But a lot of my uh, uh, stuff that I'm gonna be doing for the month comes from this planning here. So I've got stuff that I wanna get done by the end of June. Uh, last month I had like my March strategy. Some of this stuff uh, I changed quite drastically. So April strategy, this is what I'm working on this month. I, I wrote down like here's the stuff I'm gonna focus on. So last month I, I was getting distracted a lot and I wasn't focusing on like important stuff. I was doing a lot, but I wasn't focused on important stuff. So this month my focus is like, you know, focusing on very important things and chunking important things together and trying to get stuff done. So you'll see, uh, oops, yeah, so you'll see right here, I've got these little white like reminders. So I'm working on like memory stuff. And this is just like something to remind myself to try and image things correctly, focus on things, progress, not perfection. If you're not growing, you're dying. No. So just like inspirational stuff up there. But that's kind of what I'm doing there. Things to try and get done. This is just some small things that I'm working on this month. So I'm working on my main project. I want to get better at bootstrap. Uh, I need to send out some job applications. I'm trying to get a job. Uh, I actually want to get, uh, I started on my website and it's, it's, it's like presentable, but there's a lot of stuff I want to get done. So I have actually get some website stuff done. So I've got some days planned out to this. This is kind of my, uh, my strategy going um, into April. So I wanted to have like four days where I work on like programming and like core stuff, which is my money tracking project. Uh, two days where I just do creative things like writing this blog post or, you know, doing this video, doing blog posts, things like that. Uh, and then like one day where I just do side projects and uh, maybe work on my website a little, do some exercising outside of, you know, get out of the house basically. That's essentially it. Uh, and so this is kind of what my day is looking like. And I've already changed this up this morning, in fact, because at first I was trying to get five hours of sleep in order to cram more time in, but that didn't work out so well. It was very much not so productive because I was just super tired. Uh, six hours is great for me though. So I'll get up around six, um, you know, do some breakfast, get my uh, coffee. And I, what I do is I write this, I'll come back to this here, but what I do is I write every single day in a, uh, like a little journal type thing. So it's, it's like a, like a stand, you know, like a morning stand up if, if you're familiar with agile. So what did I do yesterday? What are my Roblox and what am I going to do today? So it's just real quick. It just helps me like wake up and focus on uh, what I'm going to be doing for the day. So um, usually this is something you're supposed to be doing like in a team, but I thought it was really cool as like from like a personal level. Um, on top of that, like every two days I've been writing in, in my blog, uh, just, you know, just kind of my thoughts. You don't have to do this. You can do your own personal uh, diary here. I post this online because I'm, I'm just like a public person, but <laughs> you can, I think it's helpful. It, it helps me get thoughts out that are uh, on my mind, things like that. And then I've got like the uh, the index here. So Vim Wiki is really cool. It actually auto, it automatically indexes all of your posts. I just hit like space WW and it creates the next post for the day. I can uh, bring up a calendar here and see all the posts from the various days, you know. So it's pretty useful, something to check out if you're in Vim and uh, there's so many other solutions if this is not interesting to you. But either way, I think it's pretty important to, to just like keep track of stuff. And then like throughout the day, uh, if I'm, let me see, if I'm learning something, uh, let's see, these were creative days. So this one, okay, so 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 just notes from the day, like stuff that I learned. Uh, this is not too pretty. I might I might look at another place to put like programming notes because this is not like uh, color coded. Uh, I might make like a private uh, you know blog that I just put notes on. And then what I what I was planning on doing is like going in here and stuff that I, these are like roadblocks, things that I learned from roadblocks um, when doing my project. So. Uh, I may go back in here and make little small posts on like, hey, here's some stuff that was difficult to me and here's how I solved it. But overall, I can go back in and uh, search like I can do like, I haven't actually messed with this too much yet because I'm still new to it, but uh, Vim Wiki search, uh, I think, something like that. So like simple it, I don't know. I can't remember the command. Uh, this is brand new to me, but once I start getting enough notes in here and I'm like, how did I go, how did I do that thing like a month ago? I can do a Vim wiki search and boom, go back in here and I can see some of my notes. So that's something that's new to me. I think it's helpful. Uh, I've already referenced back to it once so far. So, I mean, that's great. All right, so that's my Vim wiki and that's kind of my uh, strategy stuff. So let me go back to, uh, <clears throat> let me go back to my April strategy. So, so I work on that stuff in the morning. I uh, try and achieve eight Pomodoros of focused work in the morning, no chat, no distractions, turn off all of your notifications because 
Uh, that's my pro most productive time. I don't know, some of you are like night coders, so maybe you do all of your Pomodoros at the end of the night. Either way, when you're doing your focus work, you wanna eliminate all distractions and just get it done. And uh, once I'm done with that stuff, that's when I'll work on like just chatting with people, replying to emails, maybe look through some articles and videos, get some exercise in, smoothie, all that good stuff. And then I have my day job and that I have to get ready for at round one, you know, because I gotta drive and, you know, prepare all that blah, blah, blah stuff. And then right before bedtime, I'll make sure and uh, plan out my next couple days. So, for example, here, uh, I know tomorrow I'm going to be doing like my free day, so I'm going to, in the morning, work on improving my blog and website. I'll move that up in priority here. Uh, I may do some learning stuff, so this is kind of what I may end up doing tomorrow. I'll figure it out later, but um, so yeah, I can just kind of go in here and figure out what's important to me. So let's go ahead and move on. I want to show you some email stuff, so if you haven't heard of it, Gmail's new, or not Gmail, but uh, Google's new inbox is freaking amazing for, um, you know, I guess inbox zero, they call it, like getting rid of your email stuff. So it's more of a to-do list now rather than just a big list of emails that are coming in. And the idea is that you come in here and you can just check stuff off or you can snooze it for later. So uh, let's just go through my email real quick. Uh, I've got all this stuff like latest posts from some program. So if I want to like read this stuff, uh, you know, I can, if I want to go in here and again, I would like click on it and bookmark it and read it later. And so, um, five ways to destroy your productivity. Well, that sounds interesting. So like I can just go click on it. Uh, maybe I'll read it later. I'll just put it in my read later list. Uh, so let's close that out. And then, so I'll just go through here and uh, you just hit the little, uh, little check thing and then that's done. I don't really care about this. So this is a like little email course I was doing to get better at the JavaScript this. So I can go in there and if I want to do it today, which I'm not going to, I can read it or I'm just going to snooze it later. So uh, we can just say, um, I don't know, tomorrow. So may maybe I'll have time tomorrow because I have a day off tomorrow. So we'll just snooze all these for tomorrow and get those out of the way. And uh, let's see, I don't really care about this. Oh, that's another one to snooze. Uh, this is an email that I need to reply to. In fact, I'm going to reply to it after I'm done with this video. So I'll just leave that up there now. I would normally snooze it for later. Uh, this one I actually just replied to, so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, this one I already replied to as well, so I'll get rid of that. I need to work on this. So th these two I will do right after I'm done here. Uh, this is something I need to check out. I just snooze it to look at for later. Uh, I'm not really interested in going through it now, so I will we'll snooze it for tomorrow. Uh, that's it. You know, so I had more emails, but I got rid of all of them pretty quick. Because nice thing about Google's new inbox is that it actually groups stuff by category. If you have a big list of like updates or marketing stuff that you don't care about, you can click this like checkbox all and just gets rid of them. It's really fast. It's great. And if I need to create some kind of reminder for myself uh, for some reason, like um, I can click on this little blue reminder and I can say do do whatever and uh, you know do whatever I want there you go save and then there's a reminder and then I can you know I can set that reminder to show up tomorrow do whatever I want so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow because it's my day off so <laughs> uh, cool that's relevant and then I've got the Google Calendar I also use so this is just to help me keep track of stuff that I can't really forget because it's time sensitive or whatever so if I have meetings to go to things like that I actually have little reminders to tell me when to write my dev recrep which is pretty much every other day I don't know it's not really important I have this on there but it's nice so I have a different calendar so that way I can turn it off and just see the important stuff uh, or if I want to like just see like normal little reminders, I have that come up on there. Of course, it, it syncs up with uh, the Mac calendar, syncs up on the phone and all that stuff. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that that's pretty much it. Like more than anything, I just try to uh, focus on each week. I'll go back in here and I and I can look at all this stuff. Uh, everything kind of comes back to this Pomodoro board. It's really great. I can go and look at reports of uh, time spent on various tasks, and I can sort it by labels. So whenever I'm creating tasks, you know, I'll come in here and, and I, can, uh, I can create the color for it. I can create labels for the type of work it is. I can estimate how much time it's going to take to do stuff. And, and so it's pretty cool. I, I really enjoy this. There's a lot more that I can do. But uh, that's it for now. I'm running out of time here. I, I time box just enough time to get this video done. And hopefully you guys learned something from it. And you can, um, you know, add some of the ideas to your own personal workflow and productivity. I'll try to put some links in the... Uh, you know, down below, or you can go to my website, colbycheese.com, and I'll put some links to some of this stuff that I'm using. So I'll see you around next time. Peace, bros.